In a world where our personalities define who we are, it's intriguing to imagine what might lead each of the 16 Myers-Briggs personality types into the confines of a jail cell. From the curious and inventive ENTP to the quiet and observant ISFJ, each personality type has unique traits, strengths, and weaknesses. But what would happen if they crossed the line and found themselves on the wrong side of the law? Let's embark on a whimsical journey through this hypothetical scenario as we explore the alleged crimes that could land each personality type in jail. This video is made possible by Empaths Refuge. Get access to animated infographic posters to unlock the power of your personality and feel empowered from within. Learn more at the description. ISTJ, the inspector. Our duty-bound ISTJ personality type is rarely seen straying from the path of righteousness. However, should an ISTJ find themselves behind bars, it might be for a meticulous white-collar crime, such as embezzlement. Their unwavering attention to detail could make them adept at concealing financial misdeeds, at least for a while. ISFJ, the protector. They are known for their compassion and dedication to helping others. In a twist of fate, an ISFJ might find themselves arrested for identity theft, exploiting their empathetic nature to manipulate people and gain access to personal information for nefarious purposes. INFJ, the counselor. The gentle and empathetic INFJ is unlikely to resort to physical violence. However, their intense desire to bring about positive change might lead them to engage in civil disobedience, landing them in jail for participating in a peaceful protest that turns chaotic. INTJ, the mastermind. With their sharp intellect and strategic thinking, INTJs might find themselves arrested for hacking into high security systems to expose corruption or orchestrating a daring heist with an elaborate plan that nearly succeeded. ESTJ, the supervisor. The determined and assertive ESTJ could be apprehended for white-collar crimes such as corporate fraud or insider trading. Their drive for success might lead them to make unethical decisions in the business world. ESFJ, the provider. ESFJs are known for their caring nature and desire to support others. However, they might be arrested for organizing a charity event that turns into a massive fraud scheme, taking advantage of people's trust and generosity. ENFJ, the teacher. ENFJ's charismatic and persuasive qualities may lead them to be arrested for being a charismatic cult leader, manipulating their followers into committing crimes. They may believe they're doing good, but the law might see things differently. ENTJ's the commander. ENTJ's natural leadership skills might tempt them to organize a hostile corporate takeover, breaking numerous laws. Alternatively, they might be behind bars for ruthlessly exploiting employees to achieve their business goals. ISTP, the craftsman. The adventurous and resourceful ISTP might get arrested for illegal street racing or engaging in extreme sports without adhering to safety regulations. Their love of adrenaline could push them to the edge of the law. ISFP, the composer. ISFPs, known for their artistic and free-spirited nature, might be arrested for participating in a protest against the destruction of natural habitats or for trespassing while exploring abandoned places, driven by their curiosity and love for the unconventional. INFPs The Healer INFPs have a strong sense of justice and a desire to help others. Because of this, they might find themselves arrested for chaining themselves to trees in a protest against deforestation or for acts of civil disobedience against social injustices. INTPs The Architect The intellectual and inventive INTP could be arrested for hacking into government databases to uncover classified information or for conducting dangerous experiments without the necessary permits, putting the public at risk. ESTPs The Dynamo the adrenaline-seeking ESTP might get arrested for engaging in extreme sports without proper permits, leading to dangerous situations that require rescue operations. Their thrill-seeking behavior can sometimes cross legal boundaries. ESFP, the performer. The spontaneous and vivacious ESFP 
could be arrested for throwing raucous parties that disturb the peace or participating in underground, unlicensed dance events that become a public nuisance. ENFP, the champion. ENFPs, driven by their passion for social causes, might find themselves arrested for participating in civil disobedience, such as blocking traffic during a protest or for acts of vandalism against institutions they view as oppressive. ENTP, the visionary. The ENTP's love for intellectual challenges might lead them to be arrested for hacking into government systems with the intent of revealing classified information or for engaging in elaborate and controversial pranks that cross the line of legality. While the notion of each personality type getting arrested is purely hypothetical, it's a reminder that individuals, regardless of their personality, must adhere to society's laws and ethical standards. This whimsical exercise encourages us to reflect on the intriguing interplay between our personalities and the moral compass that guides us through life.